Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, I have wanted to do this for a while as well. This is the 49 and Market Washi Tape Stickers. But I have been wanting to create a gift set with these, a gift card set, for so long. And my challenge is to pretty much only use these to create the cards. Now, there is five meters of roll in here, which is about 16 and a half feet. There is a lot of stickers. Now, this is um, just a really fun challenge for me. The only thing I was worried about prior to trying these is how much you would be able to see um, the lining, the outline of the washi tape when I put them down on cardstock. So first thing I did when I got these out of the packet was definitely put them down on cardstock and I was relieved to see that you couldn't see the outline because that was important to me. So this is the stickers that you get and then the pattern repeats. So to me this is plenty. I had so many ideas as soon as I was looking at this and then I could have kept going at the end of the video. I had more and more ideas. But I'm going to create four cards for you today. Four different cards. I have created some little 4 by 4 inch card bases. I just think that's a really sweet size. These are smaller that you can pop in with gifts. That you can pop in a gift basket. That I can pop in with baking that I do. Anything like that. It just makes it a really easy convenient size. Now I know that many ask how can I make the envelopes or what do I do with the envelopes for these. I have an entire video on my channel, it's a short video, on how I make all of my envelopes. I make them for slimline cards, I make them for square cards, I make them for small cards, large cards, and I do it simply. No measuring, <laughs> none of that. So uh, I will try and link that video down below as well, just in case you're wondering. But first of all, I love this gorgeous big blue flower here. And so this is my plan to use this. But I'm going to create some little detail and kind of build up down in the corner. Now I showed you just a minute ago when I put down that green, that greenery, um, that you can't see the outline here. So I was really happy about that because that's what I was most nervous about. Now obviously if you put this down on some colored paper, then it probably is going to show. But I'm working with white today. This happens to be the Frenchville 110 pound cardstock. I get this from a Spotlight here in New Zealand. I know that you can get the exact same one in Australia. And this is a gorgeous white cardstock. It holds up really well to alcohol markers. And it holds up well to using lots of media and it is a great cardstock. So I always used to use the Nina Solar White 110 pound. That used to be my go-to. And then I used to use the 80 pound for card fronts. However, it is just so expensive to, for me to be able to source that here in New Zealand. And then once I discovered this one, uh, I actually found that I preferred this over the Nina. I found it did more. It was more versatile and it held up better it took ink blending much better. So I'm really impressed with this cardstock. So anyhow, now we have built up a little sort of cluster down in the bottom left hand corner and then a little butterfly up in the top right. Then I am going to use some stamps for the sentiments today because there is not really any sentiments included, um, obviously in the washi tape stickers and that's okay. I have the stamps so I feel like we can we can be okay with that. For this one, I'm using the Happy Birthday Stamps by Doodlebug Designs, and I'm just keeping a really, really simple Happy Birthday. Now, I am going to draw some black squiggly lines around the outside here. I just have a black fine liner. I love these squiggly lines. You've seen me do it lots of times because they are squiggly on purpose. It means I don't have to worry about finding a straight edge and I think this looks really good anyhow. So I'm just going around the outside leaving a gorgeous border. And for this set I'm going to roughly try because I know that they're all going together and use different sentiments and create different types of cards for this. So for the next one this is the most simple by a long way. But there are all of these gorgeous butterflies in here. And I thought all I would do with this is just create a gorgeous sort of strip going up the middle. I am just uh, alternating the colors, making sure I get different ones. There are also just some sort of uh, more plainer black and white ones, but I went with mainly colored and then a couple of little hearts up the top and the bottom. And I think this is just a really sweet, simple um, card that I would add in with a bunch of flowers or something like that. And it says, thinking of you. I just thought this was really, really nice. And as I said, it is very, very simple, but this is the most simple of all of these. Now, even all of these cards all together 
took me, I don't know, it took me probably including filming and everything like that. So remember that I have to set up the lights and the camera and batteries and all those sorts of things. Um, way less than an hour. Anyway, it's less than, I think I've got maybe 42 minutes or so of um, film here. So that is what this started out as and I have edited it down to be this long. But these cards took me no time at all. So I am taking some Masking Magic. I absolutely love the Gina K Masking Magic. Uh, this is such a good masking paper. I'm taking just one thin strip. Then I have a scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to pop down these little strips. And I am basically creating my own pattern paper. I know that I said I would pretty much stick with um, just using the stickers. But I think you'll forgive me for this one. And again, super, super easy. So I've got my little bits of masking tape down there. And then I'm going to use some Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink. I was picking this one out because I wanted to use um, the ink that roughly went with the kind of light colored flowers of the washi stickers. Now, I am just going inking over this. There is no, <laughs> no perfection about it. Just getting the ink down. And then you'll see in just a second when I hold this up, I take off my little strips of masking magic. And then when I measure them against my card base, it's not even. It's not even and this was going to bug me. So you can see my mind ticking over at the moment. I didn't want to leave a border. I had probably should have put down the middle little strip of the masking paper first. But anyhow, there's always a second side to another piece of paper. So I turn it on over and then I'm just going to reuse those little pieces of masking magic. And all I have to do is just, as I said, Take the finger dobber, add the ink, and then we're good to go. I was trying to figure out a way in my head, but I knew that it would be just as quick for me to do this again. It truly took me one more minute, so that's okay. I'm just going to whip through this and then do the same thing, add the ink, and then take off the little strips of paper. And then I wanted this to be like a curve. Now, I could have freehand drawn this, but I don't trust my freehand drawing skills with this one, even for just a simple line. So I am actually, and you can decide if this is cheating for the rules or not, but I'm using the inside of this die here. I'm not die cutting it at all. I'm just using the inside so that I can get that gorgeous, nice sort of oval shape along there. That's what I wanted. I just couldn't create, well, I could have created it myself, but I thought that this would be more even and a little bit neater. So I'm just taking a pencil, drawing around the inside of the die, and then I'm able to snip along that line and I have a gorgeous little piece of pattern paper that matches my washi tape stickers. And then we can start creating our little card. I just use my little cutter bees for this and then I'm going to add some liquid glue so that I can line this up perfectly because it is exactly the same size as the card base. Now I could have die cut an oval and actually masked it on the on the card base itself rather than adding another piece of um, cardstock there but I'm okay with it. That's fine. Now I'm taking one of the pieces of greenery and I'm going to angle this up and around here a little bit. It's nice that you can manipulate these um, and they still look perfect. And then I'm going to take the same piece of greenery because there isn't one going in the other direction. And I am going to put this upside down. Now uh, this may bug some people that it's kind of upside down, but actually I think this looks fine. And I'm going to put that gorgeous rose, those little bunch or cluster of roses and rosebuds and pop this in the middle and you can see that it's a pretty good match for the tattered rose color of ink down below. So we've created our own little card front there and I actually really love all of these cards. I had so much fun. This was really, really quick to create and I love these washi tape stickers. Now the stamp set that I used on the previous one and that I'm also going to use on this one just here is the um, Curly Greetings by Woodwear. So just gorgeous. This is an old one too. It's still available. It's still perfect. It's so good. Now this is where you can play around with how you want things. You can have them side by side. You can stack them to the left orientated. You can uh, stack them on top of each other. You can just have a play around, see what you think you like the look of, and then you'll soon get a feel whether you like where you like it to be. But I'm going to stack these up directly one on top of each other and put them in the middle on that white space up the top. I did quickly think about putting them on the uh, inked portion down the bottom but this is going to be a gorgeous little thank you card. I'm stamping all of the sentiments in some Versafine Onyx Black ink today. This is just a beautiful crisp stamping pigment ink so you do have to give it a minute to dry but it's going to stamp beautifully every time. 
So that is a gorgeous little thank you card. As I said, I'm aiming for different sentiments on all of the cards today, just because I know that they're going in a set. Otherwise, you could have pretty much made these for any occasion at all. Now, I'm not sure if the last card or this card is my most involved one, but I must admit I love both of them. So this one's going to go maybe where you think it's not going. <laughs> um, so I'm going to kind of work on putting all of these elements. I'm sort of not holding back from anything. I With some of the flowers, just because I want to make the most of them, I'm actually going to cut them in half and have them kind of coming off both sides. But I'm going right around my little square. This is a card front at the moment. It is cut to the same size. So it's just four by four inch piece of cardstock. And I'm doing that... Um, just because I'm actually again going to break the rules and do one sneaky piece of die cutting with this one. If you want to, you could do this with a craft knife and a ruler for sure though. There is nothing fancy about it, um, but since I have them, I'm going to use one die. So I do all of the bigger, larger stickers first, and then I can fill it in with all the little hearts and all those extra little things. I even take some of the numbers and I just add a few and then I sort of rip it off here and then I add some more of the numbers down the bottom and then rip it off and put some up the top and then that way it's sort of like, it's a little bit sort of mixed media looking. It's got the postage bits and pieces, it's got the birds, it's got the butterflies, it's got the flowers, all the good mix. Now I have these scrapbook.com uh, thin metal dies, these are just stacking square dies and as I said, you can use a ruler and a craft knife but I am going to cheat and use one of these dies to die cut out the center of this. Now I most definitely could have just left it like that and stamped a gorgeous sentiment in the middle and done all of this on the card base. That would have looked stunning as well. It creates a natural border and I absolutely love it. But that's one option and I'm just showing you another one of course. So I'm going to die cut this out. I'm going to put a little bit of mint tape on there because I don't want this to shift. I don't want to have to do this again and re-stick all of the stickers. You use up more stickers. Um, so I could use the uh, little inside panel if I want to, but I am focusing on this gorgeous frame here. I'm going back to the happy birthday stamps from Doodlebug. And this was my original plan that I was going to have this little, so this is one of the stickers, it's like a little piece of, um, a little piece of notepad or notepaper or something like that. And then all of these gorgeous little clips that hold it um, in place. Now, this was my plan to do it like this, and then I would have one of the little clips that would hold it. I was going to stamp on top of that little piece of paper there, on top of that washi sticker, and I would write the sentiment there. So you can see what it would look like. But then I changed my plan from here. This would have been perfect. I should have and could have done this. And then I was like, oh, imagine if I took lots of those little pieces of paper because there's, I think, three or four different little, um, like a little grid of them. And there's actually a couple of little different shapes of that piece of paper there. So my mind was spinning at the moment. <laughs> and I was like, how many cards can I fit in this series? What should I save? What should I do for which card? But anyhow, I reined myself in and I'm actually just going to stamp a sentiment in the middle. But know that all of those are options so this is a wishing you a from the curly greetings and then i'm going back to the doodle bugs one and i'm going to stamp the same happy birthday so there are two happy birthday ones in this um but that's okay as i said i've used my versafine onyx black ink it's a gorgeous uh, dark perfectly black stamping ink then i'm going to add some foam tape to the edge of this and this is going to pop this up give that frame some gorgeous dimension i've got the foam tape going right around the outside so it's completely solid and um, really sort of neat looking from the sides then I'm going to line this up and that is going to be the end of my set of four cards for today. So of course you could do this with any stamps, you could do this with any stickers, you could do this with anything that you have. I hope that you've enjoyed this little set. I had so much fun putting this together for you. Of course there will be links down below as well as a link to the Buy Me A Coffee uh, page if you'd like to support my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.